Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be breaking down the latest leaks from the set. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Alright, so this is coming from Canada Graphs and YVR Shoots, so go check them out, all their details will be in the description below. So there are some leaks the other day that came from YVR Shoots and there was a, another photographer who I'll link in the description below. And then also just more recently there was another set where Canagraphs was present and he got a lot of information so we're going to break it all down right here. So first off let's break down this flashback or time travel stuff. So yeah the photographer at Parade Guy on Twitter. He was able to get some photos of some very interesting stuff. They were shooting a scene in Cloverdale, which is in fact where they shot for Smallville at one point. This was one of the streets. And so anyway, for season seven of The Flash, they were there, they were filming, and it looks like they're going down memory lane. As on the cinema theatre billboard, it says 1998's best selection, Space Jam guaranteed in stock. And this is a blockbuster, so it's actually not a theatre, but, you know, the kind of billboard it was used as a theatre before. Anyway, so this is a pretend blockbuster store that they put up. Definitely is in the 90s if there's a blockbuster, because, you know, they were gone, you know, early 2000s. And so, 1998, that's the big day. And this was actually the year where the Allen family break down on their way to a science fair. And this links into Savitar, and people have been talking about this, I think Paigey did a video on this. And basically in that clip, if you ever go back, maybe I'll link that in the description below, to there was that one scene where Savitar talked to Barry, and Barry talked about a memory, trying to test if Savitar could remember that one best memory that he could remember. And it was this trip in 1998 where the Adam family broke down on their way to a science fair that he was really excited about. They had ice cream, they stopped by a diner, and so this is the exact same place. So it seems like we're flashing back to that one specific memory, and he names the town. Savitar remembers it was Masonville, and there is a photo of Masonville towing. So they are recreating that specific flashback with young Barry Allen, I presume. Somehow they could link into Savitar because this was the one thing that he remembered as well and Barry quizzed him on but at the same time it is like one of Barry's best childhood memories so maybe they're just going back there or potentially we may be seeing some time travel involved in this maybe one of our other characters which could be Godspeed goes back and tries to interfere in the past so what do you guys think it is do you think it's time travel or a flashback probably more likely to be a flashback however it's a flash so don't count how time travel now let's move on to the next piece of information, this comes from Canada Graphs. Check out his blog, there's going to be a lot more photos, we're going to break down some of the other photos that we do have on the video, but there's more on the blog for you to see. Also we're going to be reading out his blog and going through everything that he spotted on the set the other day. And so the flash was on location for season 7 shooting on Wednesday in three different spots around downtown Vancouver. So currently, obviously, this was like earlier in the week. So he describes a scene where there is some blinking strobe lights going on and Grant Gustin was on the set as the Flash and he briefly saw Carlos Valdez leaving the set at the end of the shoot and one of the Daniels were there, so Daniel Panabaker or Daniel Niclet, but he wasn't able to identify who it was because he didn't see them, but someone talked about them, you know, saying that they rapped. And so at one point, as many as six different cast style transportation vehicles were waiting around. So there could have been more. There could have been more cast members, essentially. And so they set up there, and in regards to the blinking strobe lights, may have been something to do with what we're going to be talking about, which is Barry's nightmares. And so the one big thing that he spotted was that on the front of his cow, he's wearing some sort of device, the same device or a similar device used to prevent Grodd from controlling him. So some sort of mind control preventing device, which is very interesting because he seems to be getting attacked with inside his mind in the next leaks that we're going to talk about. So for the evening shoots, they went over to different sets. There was two different sets operating at the same time. And so he went to one of them first in Vancouver Place or British Columbia Place. 
This was the first set, but it didn't look like they were close to starting, so he went to check on the other location, which I presume was pretty close by. And so they were already underway, and they had the stunt doubles out there in the Flash costume, and they were getting ready for a few stunts. And then outside where they would normally shoot Star Labs, well, the exterior location, and then obviously inside Star Labs, that's inside a film studio. And so the crew worked out on the scene on the sidewalk, which was pretty near to the stadium, but he wasn't sure if that was going to be included, and maybe it was like thought to be like another location. And so there was a guy in a jacket, and he was covering up his costume, and at first he thought it was one of the samurais from season 4 at first glance, but then he eventually, this mystery character, took his stuff off, and it turned out he was some sort of Roman army soldier or something. And so he did a scene where an actress was walking along on the phone with a coffee wearing a Jitters shirt, obviously coming from Jitters. She clearly sees this mystery character, screams, drops her coffee, and runs away, so he is causing havoc. It does look like it's a real person, or perhaps some sort of manifestation, but we'll get to that in just a minute in regards to nightmare stuff. So finally, a bit later, they did a scene with the mystery character where the Roman army guy runs across the grounds at a group of guys and swings his sword around, seemingly killing them all, before turning around, celebrating by throwing his hands in the air and putting his sword away. So it seems like this guy, whoever he is and whatever he turns out to be, if he's real or not, seems like he's from another time, maybe he's been projected into this time, or it's just some sort of, you know, thing in Barry's head and he's seeing this guy just going around and killing everyone, so it seems like he's going on some sort of killing spree, and then after that insanity, he went back to another location because the Flash was working on that. And they were setting up to do a scene where the Flash, with Grant now on set as him, comes zipping in and faces something or someone. The director was yelling instructions over on the loudspeaker, telling him it's a nightmare and he can't escape it. And at some point he is to be overcome by something and ends up on the ground. While all of this is going on, a man in a red and black Halloween mask, appears just before disappearing. And a bit later they did a few scenes with the mask, but that guy was in close-ups, so again, seems very likely that is going to be the villain of the episode. And so, with the talk of what the director was saying, that, you know, this is a nightmare, Barry's inside a nightmare, he can't escape it, and at the end of this scene he is overcome and ends up on the ground, you can see that in the photo that I'm showing on the screen, He's been overtaken by him, and then you get to see the guy with the mask, which again is on the screen right now, because it seems like this guy is the one controlling everything that we've seen in these kind of strange and odd photos that kind of graphs has emphasized like it didn't make any sense, and they were kind of crazy. And so, yeah, this mask guy, I feel like because they were shooting close-ups and stuff of him later, he's definitely the villain, and somehow he has got this kind of gladiator, kind of Roman soldier guy to be here and attack everyone. It seems like that attack is definitely part of Barry's nightmare. That's why I mentioned uh, Barry's nightmares earlier. And so somehow in these scenes, his nightmares are becoming reality in a sense because he's overcome by this. And, you know, at one point we mentioned that, you know, he has a thing on his cow kind of like what he uses to prevent Grob from going into his mind. It seems like maybe they've adapted that and that has been used to stop this guy at the point where he realized, oh, I'm having these nightmares, this guy has overtaken me and I need to stop him essentially. So yeah, this is all kind of crazy, but it really does seem like this nightmare fuel stuff is coming from this one specific villain and this guy, you know, apparently he's controlling this Roman army guy who's running around, attacking and killing a bunch of people, and it kind of seems like it's kind of seeping into his reality. So maybe due to the fact that you had that girl who was attacked, it seems like maybe this Roman guy is actually in real life rather than just in a nightmare, or is Barry dreaming up these extra people like the Jitters person and the group of bystanders who get sliced up by the Roman guy? Is this all inside Barry's mind and is he seeing this? Or is this in reality? And then Barry is also simultaneously kind of breaking down because of this control over him. So yeah, tell me what do you think about all of this in the comments down below. Really interesting stuff. 
I would say this is going to be around the time of episode 5, which is titled Fear Me. And that makes sense. We kind of theorized that this would be a Godspeed centric episode because Fear Me sounds like something that Godspeed would say. However, it makes sense now if this is a kind of nightmare episode that this villain would be like Fear Me, you know, because he's controlling his mind, making Barry fear his nightmares and making him fear him. And then at some point they're going to have to use that kind of grod mind control device to stop him and then eventually take him down. So it seems like this guy is the villain of the week, but he's definitely some sort of villain. That is for certain. So that's about it for this video, guys. Remember, on Tuesday we will be having our live stream because on Thursday when we normally do it, it's Christmas Eve. Same thing goes for next week. And if you haven't tuned in to any of the live streams, please be sure to come tune in on Tuesday night. That is when we're going to be live streaming. And for now, just watch the videos, keep supporting the channel, and turn on notifications, which is the bell button near the subscribe button. For the meantime, and thank you to all of you who have become members of the channel. We currently have 12 members. We have four new members in the last month. So, yeah, please be sure to join and become a member if you want to support the channel. That is just next to the subscribe button as well. You just click join and become a super friend. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.